Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. For many of us, today's passage seems a bit far-fetched. It seems like some distant, irrelevant concept, this, this very gruesome portrayal of martyrdom. Martyrdom and betrayal. What an awful thing it would be to be turned over by one's own family members, by one's own community, all for love of the Lord. However, as foreign as this seems, as distant as this seems of a reality to our reality, you might find this passage to be completely irrelevant to your life. You might imagine, gosh, I will never be put in a position where because of my faith, my own family members betray me, my own community betrays me. First of all, you don't know that. None of us knows that we will never be in that situation. But there are a couple of things we do know. For one, there are many people in the history of our faith who have have been in this situation. Not so far into the past, under Hitler's regime in Nazi Germany, were Catholics also persecuted, and not an insignificant number of them. And I'm sure that the people there, shortly before all of this arose and Hitler came to power, I'm sure that the people there were probably thinking the same thing when they read this passage. Now, I'm not trying to encourage you to live in fear, but I do encourage you, like today's passage encourages you, make sure that your heart, that your mind, that your soul, your very being would be willing to endure to the end and not betray God, not betray the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed be his name. And the second thing that we do know is that we will encounter white martyrdom. We will encounter situations where we are challenged for the faith that we proclaim. We will be put in situations where it might feel awkward to admit the truth, to admit what we believe, to defend what is good, true, and beautiful. Those who endure will be saved. I encourage you, be bold, be strong. I've been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace.